There are thousands of authors across the UK and today a new one is joining the club. Vanna Smith's story is aimed at teenagers and young adults and follows a young teenager struggling to control a strange new gift that she has acquired. The book is a huge step forward for Vanna who has always felt until her diagnosis of dyslexia that something was holding her back. I felt when I first did start writing at school, even when I'd left school, I prejudged everything I did. And when I wrote it and I'm thinking, that don't look right, there's something wrong there, oh I can't do this, and I'd put it away. And then over the years I thought, I do like writing and I do like reading. Um, I don't read a lot of books, but now since I've developed my, um, my love of reading regarding my own book, I'm picking up books what I wouldn't normally read. And Vanna is already turning her attention to the next two instalments in the trilogy. As my confidence grew with the first one, I was having ideas already for the next two. And um, they will, won't be long in following this book. Vanna says that the whole exercise has given her renewed confidence in herself. I think building up with confidence, it makes you believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to do good work. But if your confidence is better, because you're now actually more confident writing or reading or even spelling, and if you feel that you can um, continue building this confidence up as you go through the process of writing, set yourself small, easy targets, and that's what I've done. Um, I, I actually use it as stepping stones. I do not fear dyslexia anymore, I embrace it. It's a part of who I am and it's a part of my life and I want other people to know that dyslexia shouldn't stop you doing anything you, you feel that you can do. Erlen syndrome can make you feel that sometimes it can, the, the words on the page jump, melt and entwine with each other and getting that additional support with the overlays and also the coloured glasses are a tremendous help. And even with these obstacles, I still went for it. I went for my goal in achieving my book, and I feel so proud in doing that book now. Some of the proceeds raised from the book will go to charities.